Hi, I'm Mike Repkin, and I've developed a method to drastically reduce the amount of water that's required to wash dishes. What I'm going to be using today is a degreasing solution, a detergent solution, and a rinse with just plain water. First thing that we're going to put onto this plate is a mist of degreaser. Now as I'm standing here, I can actually see a lot of materials just floating right off it. So we're going to wait a little bit. We can actually agitate this. I'm going to hit it up again. And you see that material is really flowing right off. and. Uh, we use less than 20 mLs of uh, fluid right here. I'm then going to take this solution that has detergent, sodium carbonate material. That came off pretty good. Um, hardly any material there left. What we're going to do now is just wait a few minutes. We want to get that material to flow off. It's, it's sheeting. It's sheeting off the dish. When we're through with that, we're going to want to get, of course, the detergent off our dish. So we're going to use some water. Sparkling clean. A typical dirty dish has a mixture of fats, proteins, other assorted food particles, and microbes, mainly bacteria. How many bacteria are present can depend on how long it's been sitting around, because a dirty dish is an excellent environment for growing microbes. When we clean dishes, we aren't so much killing the bacteria as we are physically removing them and the stuff they like to grow on. A solution of degreaser and a little agitation breaks down the stubborn fats. Soaps make fats soluble. They have long molecules that bind with grease on one end and water with the other. This makes it easier to flush everything away. The second step is an application of detergent with wash soda. This helps dissolve anything that might be left on the dish and also acts as a water softener. Softer water has less surface tension, so the liquids sheet off instead of clinging to the plate. Rinsing with mist gives you a huge gain in water savings. When you run a plate under an open tap, the bulk of the water is wasted. Most of it never touches the plate. To get a sense of this, I set up a sink with different faucet and sprayer configurations and measure the flow rate. Rinsing with a mist does take time more than most people with modern kitchens would be comfortable with. With that in mind, we took a look at different scenarios for washing with mist and how they could be improved. 